Because when I shoot an animal, I try to track how fast he's going, and then I think about how fast my projectile is going, and that's how I know where to shoot. So you carry the one, <laughs> yes. and then over the yes, three, it's important and then divide. The, yeah, I get it. It's yeah, that's a lot of math. I just <laughs> that much. Hey, we're back at it again down here in the uh, gun vault. Today oh, we're going to dis- today we're going to discuss um, acronyms and abbreviations in you know the gun industry. Um, we all have notes here today because there's a lot of them. We're going to try to touch on a few of the different topics. But um, to someone that may not know, um, there's a lot of important things that it's good to know, like ammunition types. Um, but then on like you know, the weapons themselves, there's a lot of different furniture and stuff that they use acronyms for. So let's just try to kick it off. Let's, uh, you want to start on the ammunition? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Or do you want me to talk about my one little pet peeve with this game? No, let's talk about ammunition. (laughs) So right here, we got a box of 6.5 Grendel. Right. So what does that tell you, Matt? A 6.5, well, 6.5 mm Grendel. Yep. So mm, millimeters. Yep. Grendel is that designation of what it's for. It's not a Creedmoor, it's a Grendel. Yep. So that's important because if your barrel is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, you can't run a 6.5 Grendel in there. Okay. So that's kind of really important, especially if you reverse that. Correct. So one, you won't fit it in, but if some reason you just kept working it and jamming it down in there, that could be a major- I'd love to see that happen. That'd be a major problem. Okay, let's move on then. HPBT. I'm gonna go with hollow point and BT is bow tail. Okay. So that's the shape of the projectile on the back and then hollow point meaning the front of it's open. So it expands more when it hits. Good. 120 GR. GR. It's a hell of a band <laughs> from the late 80s into the 90s. No, not that one. Not that one. All right, GR, grains, which is a unit of measure of weight for how much the actual projectile weighs. Okay. Not to be confused with Powder. Powder. And on this one, it's actually showing us 7.8 grams of powder. Right. G. Just grains, not grams. Yes. So there is a big difference there. On that one, that's about it on this box. Let's go on to... Tried and true trusty. Tried and true trusty. We got (laughs) Remington core locked ammo here. Been around forever. So we got 270 win. So that is definitely one that... 270 is the caliber. Winchester was the originator of that caliber. So that's the name of the cartridge is 270 win. But other companies, Federal, Hornaday, whatever other company, make that cartridge for guns. Uh, But that's the name of the cartridge, 270. So it's kind of, uh, it throws people off sometimes. Especially like nine mil one with that, with Luger, they get, Parabellum, they get messed up a little bit with it. So um, 270 is definitely one of those ones that throw people off. So this is a 130 grain projectile and a core lock PSP. Yeah, I mean, core lock is just the interior has a jacketing around it. So that's what they mean. And the PSP is pointed soft point. Um, so why is it important to have different bullets and stuff? Well, a, think of bullets like golf clubs. You need specific ones for a job. If you're putting, you need to do one. If you're driving, you need something else. So depending on what type, for this round particularly, what game are you going for? Like they might have it rated for wild Deer, boar. elk, and hog. Okay, so it's a medium size to large size round for hunting. So then that bullet will expand the correct amount for those size games to penetrate far enough in to get to the vitals and then fully expand. So on like something like this here, this is 9mm Luger, but it's 115 grain FMJ. FMJ, full metal jacket? No, would I want to use that for hunting? No. Uh, So it's going in and coming out of basically the same size. There's no expansion. Um, you're, You're just basically punching through with that versus where you truly want a hydrostatic shock. Yep. where it jellies vital organs, and that's what a round should do to, to do that, where an FMJ is not designed to do that. It just jacketed, it goes through. So, you know, range shooting, you're going to want the FMJs because right. you're going to waste a lot of money on a jacketed hollow point yep. or, you know, vice versa. 
Um, you're not going to want FMJs for self-defense. No. You're looking for like a hollow point of yeah. some sort. Stopping power. Stopping power. Um, and then we've got a box of 410 shotgun ammo, which uh, two and a half IN. Inch. Yep. So it's a length. Uh, 1,200 FPS. Feet per second. So any round should have a rating on the box or you can go to the charts online for what kind of feet per second you're dealing with. Because when I shoot an animal, I try to track how fast he's going, and then I think about how fast my projectile is going, and that's how I know where to shoot. So you carry the one, yes. and then over the yes, three, important and then divide it. Yeah, I get it. It's Yeah, that's a lot of math. I just, <laughs> that much. Um, no, it is important because, uh, obviously the faster the bullet, the flatter the trajectory, the less variance you have from point of aim to point of impact. Um, so a lot of times faster is better yep. when it comes to that because you can have more variance. If you guess 300 yards and it's 350, you're still within that kill zone uh, and not dropping out of it if you have a flatter projectile. One half OZ. Half ounce. Yep. Uh, and then this, it says nine shot. So there's not nine shots in here. <laughs> there's 25. Um, it's the size of the pellets. Gotcha. So it so, doesn't mean there's nine BBs in there. No, no. It's uh, the shot size of the pellet. So the higher that number, the smaller the pellet is. So you go nine, seven, eights, they're bigger and bigger, all the way down to twos, Bs, double Bs, triple Bs, Ts. They get bigger as they go down through the other. So it's, it's, kind of, it's definitely worth looking up when yep. you're getting uh, specifically like waterfowl. It's important. Threes and twos are probably the most popular size in steel ammo uh, for those. Turkeys. Uh, the tungsten rounds, the TSSs now, um, they're using nines and eights in those because they can fit so much in there and so heavy that they're, you know, throwing a wall of BBs out there, gotcha. which is pretty cool, and it, it knocks them down. Um, so knowing that shot size is pretty important. The big thing also, we didn't talk about abbreviation GA. Gauge. Yeah. So a lot of companies do write gauge on there. They should, but this one just uses GA, um, which means gauge. Uh, shotguns are different than rifles or pistols. They don't use calibers. Uh, they use gauges. So 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 16, 20. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of them. 28 gauge now. It's more 410s are getting more popular again. Let's go to weapons and, or firearms, excuse me, mm. and parts. So there's a lot of them. This here <laughs> is the uh, DRD Aptus, which is a AR pattern style rifle. So derivative of an AR, which is not assault rifle. No, no, okay. Do you no. not? So what, what? Go ahead. Armor light. Armor light. What is that? It's an armor light. Armor. I can't even say it now. <laughs> armor light rifle. Yep. So. So it's the designer of the original AR series was the armor light rifle, um, model fifteen. Mr. Stoner. Yes, Mr. Stoner. So, and then we bring in MSR to the mix. So that was the industry when black modern guns, sporting rifle. Yep, modern sporting rifle. The industry was trying to make less dangerous seeming this platform or the evil gun and name it something else. So it wasn't AR. Yep. It was a modern sporting rifle. So that NSSF tried to name it that uh, modern sporting rifle and get all the manufacturers on board of doing that. It has stuck a little bit, but not not a lot. But sometimes you do hear it, so at least we know what it is. All right, what else do we have on here? We have a BCG. So BCG is your bolt carrier group, and that houses your bolt, your firing pin, and everything in an AR. It's basically your transmission of your, of your car. Gotcha. It carries everything that you need in, in your AR or any kind of gas. Well, pretty much there is a bolt carrier group in any AR, lever guns. I mean, they all, they all have it, yeah. semi-autos. But typically people... Yeah, yep. they're talking about... It's on AR pattern. pattern. Yep. All right, what else do we have here? We have ambide Ambi. I almost Ambi gave it away. Yeah. Ambidextrous. Yep. Jumped right ahead on that one. So <laughs> ambidextrous, pointing out that ambidextrous, you can use both hands. So on your selector, you can select from either side of the firearm. Yep. Um, your mag release, or excuse me, your bolt release on either side of the firearm. Um, so that's what you're meaning by ambi. So it's ambidextrous controls, so left or right-handed. Um, or you can use either your thumb or forefinger. 
if if you're shooting left-handed, you have to get bullets that spin the opposite direction. Yes. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Works with the Coriolis effect. <laughs> the opposite of it. Yes. It's only for the southern hemisphere. It's, well, it depends on which side you're on. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go to mag versus clip. It's hard for me. Clips go in your hair, right? <laughs> yes. Mags go in a rifle. Yeah. But they do have clips for some of the older firearms. Most movie people will say clips uh, on every gun, no matter what, and I cringe and bite my lip or my fingernails or whatnot, but it's, it is one of those things that just drives me nuts. They're mags. And what is a mag? It's a magazine. Magazine, yep. QD mount. Quick detach. So on a lot of firearms and stuff, you'll see little spots like this in the firearm. Those are there for a reason. That is a quick detach. For spot sling. for a sling or other accessories. Um, QD mount, easy. Yeah. Um, so we got one here, FDE. So if you might see a firearm or like a, a, a description that says FDE, so flat dark earth. So looking at this 338 Lapua here in the Kavari, it's a flat dark earth finish. Okay, you're making fun of me for the color thing, I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, that's why I pointed for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Let's go down to CC. Conceal carry. Bingo. CCW. Conceal, Conceal carry. carry weapon. EDC. Cialis. Earn day carry. Oh, every day. I was going a different direction with that. <laughs> <laughs> that was something else completely different. You know, back to ammunition, ACP. Automatic Colt pistol. All right, SBR, so. Short barrel rifle. I think we have one here somewhere. So what are we talking about with an SBR? I mean, I get it, short barrel rifle, but what makes this thing a short barrel rifle? So if it's less than 16 and it's not registered as a pistol, yeah. it's a short barrel rifle, in which case you need an NFA yep. stamp for it. Gotcha. Um, so it's just a $200 stamp that says you're allowed to have this because it's much more dangerous than a regular gun. Gotcha. <laughs> well, you could be ninja with it. That's right. <laughs> All right. Um, B-A-R. Browning automatic rifle. And we don't have one of those laying around. Too we bad. should, though. Too bad. <laughs> one of my favorites. B-M-G. Not B-F-G. Oh, I went in. Not totally, B-M-F-G, but B-M-G. Totally different. Uh, so Browning machine gun, yeah. right? All right, what else do we have in here? Plus P. More bang bang. More bang bang, right? <laughs> Just more bang bang and then plus P plus. Basically a is higher pressure, more powder in a Over pressure cartridge. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. mostly that's pistols or revolvers. Yeah. Which is important though if we hit on that because sometimes you can have certain pistols or revolvers that are not rated for those. Correct. So you could be shooting a round that's overrated and have a catastrophic yeah. issue. So that is important, the P plus P. BC. Well, bolt carrier, but we're not there. We're not there. Ballistic coefficient? Correct. Huh. So how it flies through the air. Long yeah. distance Projectile. or any distance, I guess, yeah. POI. Point of impact. I didn't know I was getting a test today too. Right? I would have studied. FFL. Federal firearms license. So anytime you go to a store and you fill out a 4473, which is the application for ownership of a firearm, yep. that goes to, it's an FFL form. ATF. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Sounds like which a Which is a weird group of things Sounds to have like a together. Sounds like a party to me. But if they show up, you better have your stuff in order. NFA. National Firearms Act. Bingo. And 2A. Second Amendment. The right. most important one. NRA? I don't know. No, you didn't know. Never, heard, never of heard of them? <laughs> Small group. <laughs> <laughs> National Rifle Association? National Rifle Association. <laughs> Look at that. So, OMG, there's a lot of acronyms. Hmm. <laughs> I'll text you later. What, yeah, you get on those text things. I don't understand it. I'm. So today we just kind of went through some of the acronyms, and there's a lot more. Um, you know, when it comes to your ammunition types, it's always best to, if you don't know, ask, because you can put yourself into some dangerous situations by trying to put a, 
wrong round. A wrong round and a wrong rifle. Yep. Um, and it, it doesn't hurt to ask. No. Um, most respectable gun shops will sit there and they'll work with you so you know what you're getting. Yeah. Um, you know, when it comes to some of the furniture and different parts of the firearm, um, if you're not sure, Google it. It's a quick search. Yeah. Um, every manufacturer likes to use something different when it comes to acronyms. Um, it's funny to watch people too, and so many guys use acronyms, yeah. and they expect everybody to know what everyone that they know is. It's a great way to stroke somebody's ego and be like, oh, what is BCG? Yeah. And let them spout off about it for a minute and yeah. do that, or test them a little bit, see if they know. So I had one question that I got from a customer, and it was what our new pistol is, MFP. Yeah, yeah. So there's a couple different ones for that. Um, multifunction pistol. Mm. Mm. Matt Furland pistol. That, I'm, I'm going with that one still. Some people are fighting against it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. There's another one that I'm thinking uh, about, but it can't be, so. No, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, it is, okay. Mother right. peeping pistol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, that's... Uh, so in short, we kind of went over today about the different acronyms, how many are out there. Um, like I said, look them up, Google them, ask the person behind the gun counter. Um, go into our comments section if you got anything else funny you want to talk about or actually have a question on what an acronym is, let us know. Click like and subscribe. Check out our other videos. If you have any questions or if you have a funny acronym, please leave it below in the comment section. Try to keep it somewhat clean. PG-13. Let us do the guessing R. on what it means. Yeah, it's fun for us. It is. Click it is. like and subscribe. We definitely appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you had some fun with this video and we look forward to your comments. Thanks. Thanks, guys.